Hi guys, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. We're going to create a team members page using Metabox and Bricks Builder. Here is my example. I want to have a team members page like this. Each member's information will be contained in a name card. We'll need a post type for team members. Other information such as position, Facebook, Instagram and mail will be saved in separate custom fields. Name and image of the member are the title and featured image of the post. Here are some tools we need for this practice. First, we need Metabox Core plugin to have a framework to create custom post type and custom fields easily. It's free and available on WordPress.org. Besides, we also need some Metabox extensions to have advanced features. You can install them individually or just use Metabox AIO to have all. The first extension we need is MB Custom Post Type and Custom Taxonomies to create custom post types. The second one is Metabox Builder to have an intuitive UI to create custom fields in the backend. Finally is Brick Builder. Make sure that you activate Brick's theme. Let's create a new custom post type. In the event that you want to find more details about how to create custom post type and advanced settings for the post type, you can refer to this video. After publishing, you'll see a new menu displayed here. Let's create custom fields to save all information in the next step. All the information such as position, Facebook, Instagram and mail will be saved in separate fields. So, I'll create custom fields for them. I choose a select field for the position. Then, I will have a choice box here to fill in several options. In my case, I just fill the label for each option. In the case that you want to fill both value and label for each option, you can follow this guide. For other information such as Facebook, Instagram and mail, I want to save the link for those social networks. So I choose the URL field. After that, move to the Settings tab. Choose Location as Post Type and select Team Member to apply these fields to this post type. Publish and you will see the custom fields you created when creating a new post in Team Member. Let's fill in the member's information. Here are some posts that I created. Let's create a page. Then, edit it with bricks. First, add a new container to have a cover all team members information. Then, add a heading element to display the title of the page. To get all the posts, we have the posts element and related posts element. The posts show posts along with filters and navigation, but the related posts does not. So I choose the related posts here. The blog posts will be displayed in default. However, we need the post in the team member post type instead of blog posts. So move to the query section, change the post type into team member to get the wanted pos. Now, move to the fields to get all the information of members that is saved in custom fields. I remove these fields since I don't want to show the published data and description. This is to display the post title, which means the member's name. Set a heading level for it if you want to optimize your website for search engines. This HTML tag also will be used for styling later since Bricks doesn't support creating classes for the posts element. The position of each member is saved in a custom field, so I will add a new field by clicking this button. To obtain the information about a member's position which is saved in custom fields, insert dynamic data and find position. Do the same for other information like Facebook, Instagram, Mail. However, when inserting dynamic data, it just displays them as text. To set them as URLs, I add this attribute to these fields. since the description of each member is the content of the post. 
so we just need to add a post content element. Now, all the information of the members has been obtained. To set the display for the image, go to the image section, change the type of image. You can try to find which is suitable for your site. Here I set the featured image with full and change its height and width. Save and see how it looks in the front end. As I've shown at the beginning of the video, each name card has two columns with the border and icons for social contacts. So let's style for the page in the following step. In the bricks editor, move to the style section and set the margin of the container element. Then, change the margin of the heading and set them into the center. For styling all the posts, go to style section. Click on the CSS. Add some CSS here. Save and see the result in the front end. Now, it displays beautifully as I want. That's the end of today's practice. Remember to like, share, and subscribe us for more upcoming tutorials. Bye.